So before I get started on today's video, I just wanted to say a huge thank you for 200,000 subscribers. <laughs> be there. When I asked the other day if anyone, you know, wanted to subscribe to help me to get that, I did not expect the response. So thank you so much. So at the moment, I'm posting pretty much every day to try and bring you as many quiet DIY like projects and stuff. And yeah, I've brought this one today because I know it's based on like my most watched videos so hopefully the majority of you will enjoy it and i just wanted to give you a little video to say thank you for 200,000 subscribers so yeah i'm just gonna get straight on into it hello everybody welcome back to my channel so hope you're all staying at home staying safe staying healthy doing some crafts and diys and kawaii diys um today i have another video for you and this is on how to make a little mini vending machine for your polymer clay charms so this is how mine has turned out it's full up with charms it's got this little twisty bit on it's covered in cute strawberries and i absolutely love it i know that my most viewed video on my channel is of a vending machine for my mini squishies so I thought I would do one today for my charms because I have seen so many people come over to my channel in the past like two to three weeks watching that video so I thought that you might like to see a new little mini one especially now we're all stuck inside and need something to do so this can be done for any age of people I am an adult and I have made this for myself just to keep my charms in this can literally be made by anyone it's just made out of the tiny little cardboard box I had kicking around and just a bit of plastic and stuff so hopefully you'll have these sorts of materials at home like I said I did put all my polymer clay charms in there but you can put whatever you want to put in there so yeah I'm just going to get stuck straight on into the video on how I made this mini vending machine for my polymer clay charms so to make this mini vending machine I actually just used this little box I had kicking around this is actually for my diabetic needles because if you didn't know I am actually a type 1 diabetic and I use needles every day to get insulin so I just use one of these boxes because I have a lot of these hanging around this one here is one that I've been like resting my squishies on to dry that's why it's already covered in paint so I thought that this would be the perfect box so I cut out a square on the lid just to make sure like I had an opening for where I wanted my little charms to be seen through and then I decided that my box was a little bit too kind of um like deep so I made a little insert cut that out from some scrap cardboard and then used like half of a like vending machine pod thingy i just hot glued that down just to make a little kind of bit to stick that level on you can use like a bottle cap something like that just to bring the piece of cardboard up i then just stuck a piece of cardboard onto that made another piece of cardboard and took a kitchen roll tube and then just cut that down so that i was able to then insert that I cut a circle out on the other piece of cardboard and then just made sure that that fit right in there. It didn't, that original piece of cardboard actually just like, you know, stuck over it a little bit. So I cut a little bit of that out just so that I knew I had a hole. Before sticking in the bit of cardboard with the hole in, I used it as a template on the front of my vending machine so that I knew my kind of kitchen roll tube would fit through that as well. So yeah, I just cut those bits out whilst I still had that template bit going so that the hole would be the same size. In the side, I cut another little kind of like flappy bit just using a um, like craft knife and then my scissors just to get that out nice and neat and this is where the prize is going to fall out so I made sure it was in line with the kitchen roll tube. I glued in that other piece of cardboard with the circle cut out of and I just glued that down making sure that it carved around nicely and just you know met up with the original bit of cardboard that I put in there and held that down until it dried. With the kitchen roll tube I cut out a section so that my prize would fall down from the original vending machine bit into the tube and then when it twists around it will go into you know that little kind of opening on the side. To make sure that my charms would fall into the kind of section in the kitchen roll tube I just inserted some extra bits of the tube on the side so that like the charms would scoop down into the opening in the tube does that even make any sense like can you see there like the charms would fall down into that hole so this bit here just kind of make sure that they're all facing the right direction and they're not just going to bunch up or go either side so yeah now if you put the charm in the little tube it'll then fall out the side see just come up there that makes it makes sense sort of so if you're making this then hopefully that will make sense 
Now I found when I did that my charm could sometimes go on the other side of the box and that is not what I wanted. So I inserted this little piece of felt, I cut just a rectangle out and then glued that so that it acted almost like a little bit of a brush and it like stopped the charm from falling down the other side. It just like scooped it onto the right side of where I wanted it to be. So once I was happy with that, I just made sure to glue all of the box together, making sure that all of the openings and everything wouldn't be undoing. So I just took my hot glue gun and just glued it all together basically. And then I cut another kind of opening flap bit at the top of the vending machine. So I was able to put my charms in and out. Because my kitchen rod tube was too like long, it was sticking out way too far, it looked really ugly, I just cut that down and made sure it was nice and level. And then taking another piece of scrap cardboard, the scrap cardboard I'm using by the way is actually from like an Amazon kind of envelope for a book. Um, so yeah, I just cut that down a little bit more, hot glued that on until I had like a little handle type bit, I don't know, just that's what I had. Um, a bottle top, something like that would be really perfect to use on here, I didn't have one of the size that I wanted so yeah, I just cut a bit of cardboard. I also inserted another bit of the um, kitchen roll tube at the front of the window so that the charms would not fall forward as, as much and get stuck up there as well. So I just kind of created like a funnel down into the tube that was going to be turning the charm round so that they would all kind of just funnel into the opening. I don't know, that just doesn't make any sense. I thought my opening down the bottom was a little bit kind of rough and tumble looking because it had like the insides of the venom machine kind of sticking out there so I actually just cut a little archway and then stuck that on. What I then went ahead and did was I painted all of the inside of the vending machine before like putting the plastic in so that it, that looked much neater and nicer. So I actually just painted it in a light pink. The brand paint is PBO in the matte shade powder pink. So yeah, that's the color. I will leave the link to those exact paints down in the description if you want to use these ones as well. But I actually got mine from Hobbycraft um, about a month or so ago now and they work amazingly. So I covered all the little bits in pink, the inside, the little twisty bit and then the um, like inside of the flat bit on the side and then I painted all the rest of it in this mint green colour which is actually by the same brand again and it's called water green. I love these two colours together so yeah I just painted the rest of it in that shade and oh my goodness it turned out beautiful. On the sides I just used a little paintbrush and I painted out some strawberries so I made like these sort of rounded diamond triangly like shapes and then I went back in with a green acrylic paint and just painted on the tops of the strawberries as well as using a Posca paint pen to pop on some like little dots and stuff. With the same Posca paint pen, I actually like did the detailing on the little twisty buttony bit at the front. So I drew some arrows and just wrote the word twist so that I knew which way to turn it. I also added a line at the top so that I knew when the kind of like tube was facing upwards so that I knew kind of the restart point of the yeah little vending machine twisty thingy. Uh, like I said, I painted on the tops of the strawberries with a green acrylic and then using a white Posca paint pen I just popped on some little cute seeds of the strawberries on. I then decided the front looked a little bit plain so I popped some strawberries on there as well. Before doing the final strawberry though, I cut out a piece of clear kind of plastic. This was actually from like a card box that holds like Christmas cards. I just cut it out um but yeah any sort of clear plastic will work here doesn't matter where you get it from i just hot glued that down into place using the opening at the top and then i also painted a strawberry onto that as well so now that all the paint on my little vending machine has completely dried this is gonna be the final product i think i think i'm happy to leave it there i don't want to paint it too much i've just you know paint a whole load of strawberries on that pop one there pop one there and then loads on the side as well i really really like the colors of like that pink and this blue together i think it looks adorable so yeah this sort of looks like without any um like thing inside what i'm going to be using this for is like little charms so like polymer clay charms like this little ebo frog for example this will just fit in there perfectly and the thing is just to store them in there because i have so many charms and then if i want to get them out it's going to be cute because i could just twist this and then get them out of this little hole down here so not only is it going to be like a cute little storage thing it's also going to be like 
just a little bit of fun, you know? So I have put a line there in order to line that up so that when you look inside, you can see where the charm will fall down. And then if you turn that, you can see that it's going to flip the charm down there and you can get it out of this little bit. That little bit of felt in there is stopping it so that when the charm falls down, stopping it from going in behind in the other side, then you obviously you can't get it out. So yeah, that's just acting like a little kind of sweepy brush, like a, I don't know, like a road sweeper or something. And I really, really like that. So yeah, this is just how it's working. And because it's felt, it's then able to go up and in and in and around, you know, without breaking anything. This is why I left like this little gap at the top so that I could open it up, put my charms in and then just shut it down again. I painted it all in the same color just because I wanted it to blend in as much as possible. But yeah, that's why I made that little flap up there. So I'm just gonna fill it up now and I'll meet you back here once I've done that. So this is how I'm like actually currently keeping my charms. I keep them in like a little fish bowl. What I'm actually going to be using this for instead is going to be mini squishies and mini plushes. So like fortune cookie plush. I'm just going to fill this up with them because it's going to take me forever to fill up this thing with, um, you know, charms. Oh my goodness. The little mini yummy bear squishy that I made. Does anyone else remember this squishy? I remember making that so clearly. Oh my goodness. So cute. Okay, so I've just filled this up completely with charms. I've made sure like the charms that I like are kind of at the front so that I can see them. Look at them. I don't want to turn it too much because I don't want to disrupt the order. But I've got like my little kind of mini squishy type charms at the front. So I've got like Millie the Whale. I've got the Pat Pat Sushi. I've got a little Yummy Bat up there. And then obviously a Karina Kuma. And a few other little kind of cuties in there that one there is like one of the squeezable charms i do have tutorials on pretty much all of these polymer clay charms because i just love making them so yeah that's why i put them all in here so what i'll do is i'll leave a playlist down in the description so you can check them out if you want to see how to make like certain ones in there i think they're all in my like kawaii charms diy playlist so you'll be able to find them in there well you should do and yeah this is how it has turned out so if you want to get some out you can just twist that i think more than one will come out at a time so twisting 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 this is going to be hard to show because i have to keep it kind of upright put it down and then your charm should come up here so yeah the little bunny cupcake has just come out and that's a great way obviously if you just want to have it for decoration that you could just get your charms out this way but yeah i think i'm just going to keep your mind in there just on the shelf just sitting like this i think it'll look adorable so anyway i hope you have enjoyed today's video if you did please do give it a thumbs up as it really does help me to know what type of videos you like to see on my channel i'll be back very soon with another video so yeah hopefully you have enjoyed it and i will see you very soon for another one bye